Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Empire's Land Choice Awards. Here is the host of the evening, Justin Bieber. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Justin Bieber. My name used to be Michael Romero Jr. But I had a little change to Justin Bieber just so this award show could have some star power. But don't worry, I'm going to change my name back to Michael Romero Jr. as soon as this award show is over. Anyway, anyway, I can tell that, that my target audience is watching. Anyway, welcome to the Edward's Land Choice Awards. The award show in which I picked the, the, the nominations. I allowed many of you to vote as well. Now, in case you don't know, I did a video a couple weeks ago in which I listed all the nominations and the rules. The main rule was that in order to vote, you had to have a YouTube account and you had to vote in the comment section of that video because that would be the easiest way to prove that all the votes were real. I sent the video to a number of YouTubers, but out of all the people YouTube accounts I did send the video to, only one of you voted. So, to the one of you who did vote, thank you. And to all of you who knew about it, who chose not to vote anyway, SHINE! Yourself. But that didn't stop me from getting more votes. A few days before the deadline, I decided to change the rules slightly and have some of my own friends vote as well. Not that many of them voted. And I chose not to vote for any of the things because it would not only be unfair, but I picked all the nominations myself, which would have been very hard. Now it's time for me to read off the winners. Let me take the award thing. <laughs> now, the award for Rest of Curry Movie is a tie. It's tied between Bruce Almighty, The Mask, and Cable Guy. The award for Best Picture goes to another tie between Back to the Future Part 2 and UHF. Hey, Ty, do you get your family to do some of this voting? And the best movie not nominated for any Oscars is... A first not tie of the evening! Yay! Oh, oh sorry. It carried away. Anyway, the winner for Best mo Movie not nominated for any Oscars is... Labyrinth. The award for Best Movie Sequel goes to Back to the Future Part 2, and it's certainly so. The worst movie that won the Best Picture Award include, not surprisingly, a tie again, because all these movies are bad. I'm surprised all four of them were, 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 didn't win, but it's a tie between Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, A Beautiful Mind, and The English Patient. The award for Best Album by Real Yankovic goes to N3D. In case you don't know, that's the album with Eden, Midnight Star, and I lost in Jeopardy. The award for the best song by the covers goes to We Only Just Be Gone. I voted for for Rain Days and Mondays, but of course I didn't vote. The award for best male music performer goes to Red Out Yankovic. The award for best female music performer is Cindy Lauper. The award for the best 1980s sitcom goes to Family Ties. That's not why, because it wasn't a tie, and it's. Well, anyway. Right. Anyway, the award for the best 1990s movie is. A tie between Home Alone, The Mother Girl's Girl, and Space Jam. That's right, there's no way to vote for Happy Gilmore. The award for Best Voice Actor or Puppeteer is, of course, a tie. A tie between Mel Blank, the original voice of Bugs Bunny, and other Williams characters, Jim Henson, the creator of the Muppets, and the original performer of Kermit the Frog, and Jerry Nelson, the performer of The Count, among other Muppets. The award for Best Anime Series is, yet again, a tie. Oh, right, that's the nominated Walking Bowling Girl. But anyway, the winners are Family Guy, Darkwing Duck, and Regrets. The award for Best Anime Movie goes to The Incredible. It's so incredible because it's not a tie. The award for Best g ray Movie is a tie between The Muppet Movie and The Great Muppet Caper. That's not really a surprise because those are the only two Muppet Movies nominated for Best g ray Movie. The award for Best PG ray Movie is a tie between Ernest Goes to Jail and Teen Mutant Shows to The Secret of the Ooze. The award for Best PG-13 rated movie is a tie, sadly, between Dumb and Dumber and The Waterboy. The award for Best R-rated movie is not another tie. A tie between non another teen movie and S1 Prince Vacation. Oh, right, that's a nominee for your virgin. They'll probably still be in a tie, though. The award for Best Classic Video Game is a tie between Pac-Man and Paperboy. Both good choices, but a tie nonetheless. The award for best NES game, NES has for Nintendo Entertainment System if you don't know, is Super Mario Bros. 3. The award for the best Sega Genesis game is a tie again. 
tie between Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and The Simpsons Virtual Bar. <laughs> the award for best movie remake goes to Little Star Horrors. And now it's time for the final award for tonight. The best category idea that's not a category here. And the winner for that is a tie again, not another tie. <clears throat> anyway, that was a tie between. It was a tie between Best 1970 Sitcom and Best Dead Actor. I can't believe nobody voted Best Movie with Full Frontal Nudity. But anyway, that's the first annual Emory Land Award Choice Awards. Now, due to the shortage of people who actually voted, I would not make this an annual thing. Now, unless you all demand they do more in the comment section, or beg for more, or somebody pays me, or if I come to my senses, or whatever. Yeah, I'm starting to hate ties. It's a sucky list. None of the people voted. Too many ties. But of course, it could be worse. Nobody could have voted at all. I could have punished you with great, with. And you can only imagine the kind of videos I would have punished you with. Welcome to the Emory's Land Choice Awards. Now, if you saw the nominations for for the award show, you're probably wondering. Why didn't I call it the Nostalgia Awards, or the Retro Awards, or the Ridiculous Awards? It is a very good, very lost explanation for that. But right now, it's time for me to read the awards. Oh, wait a minute. None of you voted. And since nobody voted at all, I'm going to, I'm going to punish you all with a different kind of video. Instead of reading the awards, I'm going to cut my toenails. Hope you got a foot fetus, or a fetus. Let's see. This little toey got cut off by his parents. This little toy got cut off by his teacher. This little pokey got his wee wee. This little toy got none from his girlfriend. And this little toy, his little toy cried wee 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 when he got cut off. I call this Toy Tony. But anyway, I'm Justin Bieber. I'm going to go back to the courthouse and see my name back to Michael Mario Jr. The Emory's Land Choice Awards have been brought to you by Nostalgia. Have you had your Nostalgia fixed today? Shame!